you with us. How much has Putin destroyed Russia's credibility as a borrower and as a market? Well, um, uh, Russian, Russian uh, macroeconomic situation is still not destroyed, but yes, the counter sanctions announced yesterday by Putin actually shaken the um, credibility of Russia as a financial counterpart. Uh, in order to respond to the sanctions imposed on the central bank, Russia yesterday announced that Russian companies or Russian citizens cannot transfer currency, well, foreign currency outside of Russia, cannot repay their debt. Uh, and uh, also, Russia has um, uh, announced that uh, uh, if you are an investor in Russian shares and equities, you cannot sell them anymore. And that, of course, is a big, big step. Uh, on the other hand, uh, on the other hand, uh, Russia continues operating normally. And uh, even though the ruble has taken a hit, uh, we don't see we don't see a major collapse of Russian economy. Stock markets are closed. Um, there is a there is a informal market in ruble where the rate is actually different from the official market. But overall, overall, we don't see a collapse which has happened yet. And off the back of that, then let me ask you this. How well does an almost fully isolated Russia continue to function? Well, in the long run, that means that Russia will stagnate and even go into recession. Um, you know that Russia is now cut off uh, of uh, air, airline traffic. Uh, most of Russian air fleet is Airbus and Boeing. And without the supply, the supplies of parts, these planes will not be able to operate. Uh, Russia will not be able to use advanced microchips because those are produced in the West and in Taiwan, and these are uh, sanctions imposed on Russia. So Russia will have no access to advanced technology. So in the long run, it's going to be a big problem for Russian uh, knowledge-based industries. On the other hand, it is the short run that the world is most interested in. And today, these are the sanctions which were imposed during the weekend, the sanctions imposed on the Central Bank of Russia, which they, uh, simply and now cancel Russian foreign exchange reserves that create a lot of havoc in the currency market. And um, as I said, stock markets are closed. And uh, if you look at the prices outside of outside of Russia, you see that uh, some Russian stocks actually lost uh, half of their values. And in that sense, in the financial system, there is a lot of volatility. But the daily life continues. Well, some people cannot pay with their Visa and MasterCard credit cards. Um, but there is there is an alternative. There are Russian cards, Russian payment systems. So it's not it's not exactly that Russian economy has collapsed. But yes, it is facing both major major challenges in the long run, and already it's starting to feel um, uh, the hit in the sh in the short run in in terms of ruble and and share prices.